All right, fam. Thank you for joining me for another essay. Today, I'm very, very, very excited as this is the first one of the year. So I want to get right into it, right into it. I don't want to waste too much time. I know I said that last time. <laughs> but what's been on my mind is, is 2021. Could this be the last year for the retail investor? Now, the reason why I say that is, as we look at the price right now, we're like at 29, 3, 29, 4. Which is kind of weird, not necessarily weird, but it is crazy looking at, and I definitely feel that Bitcoin is going to be more of a household name definitely this year. Now, I remember uh, last year, this time around last year, you can viv you can uh, get percentages right as as well as years um, prior, and you can still get percentages. But I'm saying. As far as let's uh, let's just put regular, like let's just say what a regular hundred dollars, right? Now, actually, let's just see the price twenty nine four eight three. That's we're now at a third of a percent. of a bitcoin for a hundred dollars at the price it is now so that's why i'm really thinking is this the last year for the retail investor because we all we are really inundated with a lot of news of the venture capitalists and the investment firms of blackrock grayscale the like pouring a lot not even pouring money just grabbing all of the bitcoin i believe i read a story uh I can't remember who it was. Was it Grayscale? Bought more Bitcoin than could be mine. Very, very troubling news. But let's look where the price was last year. <laughs> Literally last year. But. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so it was around seven. So let's just say 7,000. I'll say 71. Why not? almost a percent and a half and I, and I know for a fact they went under seven thousand last year like i know that for a fact but um see six 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 uh, or not six, six <laughs> five thousand around here so 2021 um i'm not necessarily sure if we've seen a floor yet what could be the floor could twenty thousand be a floor the previous all-time high who knows um more news and oh speaking of news in the bitcoin the market cap just superseded warren buffett's berkshire hathaway market cap the, the reason why this is very exciting berkshire hathaway old dinosaur i know people hold him such esteem as they should very wealthy man wealthy people get held to esteem but he's old and he doesn't really know a lot especially when it comes to tech anyway rat poison squared mr rat poison squared bitcoin is now worth more so i want to know so if bitcoin is now number six in the fortune 500 companies that means cvs that's kind of interesting so a pharmaceutical company a tech company an oil company huh and it's looking like two retail. Walmart's in big trouble. But it's looking like online retail is the only thing keeping Bitcoin from being the number one head honcho over the Fortune 5. I think that's very, very interesting. So can we see? Oh, yeah, I didn't even see the uh, total aggregate market cap. Total market cap is $778 billion. We are probably $100 billion away from the highest market cap from 2018 that's the weird thing bitcoin's price is higher but the market cap isn't so we haven't really had an altcoin run like that yet let's see 70 percent dominance that's insane yeah we haven't had an altcoin run yet now i did oh yeah before i get into some news like i said i'm gonna keep this very very brief i promise now if this is the last year for the retail investor now anything subject to change we don't know 
what kind of news we could be inundated with. But we may have to go to Satoshi's, right? Well, we always been with Satoshi's, but let's see. One dollar will be three. Okay, so I'll be three hundred and forty. Hundred dollars would be three hundred and forty thousand Satoshi. One third, a third and a half of a percent. Conti uh, obviously contingent on how much um you know you're not w you're willing to lose right so 2020 obviously could have been a good year. well obviously no it could have been it was a good year for a retail investor to get into bitcoin 2019 certainly 2018 uh yeah, certainly, depending on what quarter. 2017, most definitely, and anything, any year prior to that, hats off. Now, wrapping things up. Oh, yeah. I kind of wanted to stay on breast. This is the new year. We're going to get a new administration. kind of want to stay on breast. There's no really news. Hold on. Let me. Where we at? Yeah, I didn't really see any any news or new rules, I should say. Uh, eye catching on crypto mm, does look like. Mm, let's see. Mm. Uh, looks like soldiers may get paid more. Oh, rightfully so. Oh. No. No, nothing for crypto. I don't think. But. Mm. Oh yeah, wrapping this up. Tom Lee reveals probable Bitcoin price all-time high for 2021. This is funny because we're kind of like at an all-time high <laughs> right now. But I, um, I don't know. Projections are always fun. Now, this, this could be very interesting because let's just... Oh, no, no, let's read it. 2020 is was a great one for crypto enthusiasts and investors as Bitcoin reached a peak price of over 29000 Yes, it's over there right now. Many institutions threw their weight into the markets by converting a portion of the reserve funds and liquid cash to Bitcoin in anticipation of a new era fueled by digital assets. That is very correct. Let's get down to the meat. According to him, 2021 will be reminiscent of 2017 and a lot better than in 2020. He predicts a 300% rise in valuation of 2021. That means the Bitcoin price will hit somewhere around $120,000. Now, six figures. I think everyone who invested in Bitcoin for a couple years knows six figures is inevitable. Seven figures is dreamlike. But for the new novice investor, is six figures even approachable or even palatable? How long would it take for them to get one per? Well, we don't have to ask. We can find out. One hundred dollars. My goodness, a hundred. It's gonna be a while. It plus mixed with the news, all the bitcoins leaving, <laughs> not leaving, just being gobbled up. Mixed with all the bitcoin lost. Please protect your private keys. All right, I promise I was going to keep this short, but I am going to reiterate the question, though. Is this the last year for the retail investor? Okay, that's it.